Hello, Garnet Leary here. Today's video is about ID Engineering's DSLR camera bracket, which allows you to put a finder scope or a guide scope or that sort of thing on top of your DSLR camera. Seven months prior to this video, I released a review on the same product, except it's an older version. This is the version four. And in this video, I'll describe the major differences between the two and why I think this will work for you. If you watched the previous video, you'll know I had a few negative things to say about it. But what's interesting is upon posting that video, Sean League reached out to me, which is the owner of Idea Engineering, wanted my address and wanted to send me the version four of it and get my thoughts on it. And why I'm inserting this short video here and talking about this first is just to give you an idea of what kind of company and individual we're dealing with. Um, this is somebody who's interested in the consumer's thoughts, somebody who cares about their product and is constantly trying to make it better. For those of you who are making a transition from photography into astrophotography, and you're not quite sure if you want to invest money into a good optical system, such as like a APO refractor or that sort of thing. You already have camera lenses and you want a way to get longer exposures through guiding. This is a good answer to that. Um, there's people putting L brackets and that sort of thing on their cameras, um, offsetting the weight. I prefer to have everything balanced across in declination and that sort of thing. I don't really like weight offset to one side. Some people do, they're, they're fine with it. But let's have a look at the product and the differences and what makes this a whole lot better. And again, uh, mad props to Sean League and Idea Engineering because uh, it's just really refreshing to to get correspondence with somebody that's that interested in their product and wants to make it better. So uh, let's, let's get into the video. Thanks for watching. So this is the version four bracket and you'll get it in a box similar to this, if not exactly the same. Let's have a look inside of it. Get the Allen key that you need for the set screw. It's all aluminum, really nice build construction. Here it is with a QHY mini guide scope. You can see it's pretty rigid. Big improvement from the last one. You'll notice here there's uh, two adjustment knobs on this one rather than one. And that's good for, uh, for getting your pointing a lot more accurate. Of course at this focal length that's not really too important but it's good be, to be able to do that for a finder scope that's that's really useful here's a top view of it you notice it's notched in the back and that's where the set screw is tightens here the only play I get is from the actual hot shoe itself on the camera. And like Sean was saying, you could take a small toothpick or something and jam it into your hot shoe to keep it from having that four and a half flex in it. Nothing to do with this product as much as it is the actual hot shoe of the camera there. You loosen this, this slides right out. You see the bottom plate how the adapter fits onto the camera. Really easy to insert and also remove it. And this will work with all your Celestron, Orion, major brand finder scopes and guide scopes, that sort of thing. This is the QHY mini guide scope. It pairs really well with with this bracket because it's so low profile. 
it's really light doesn't put a lot of strain on the hot shoe of the camera not like the uh, Ryan guide scope I was using in the previous video which was really heavy and, and stood really tall so here's a side-by-side -side of the two brackets um, the one on the left is the one I purchased originally the one on the right is the one that Sean sent me the version 4 you notice there's only the one thumb screw here this one has two here you can see there's a larger set screw in the version 4 um, by size comparatively they're, they're typically the same the real difference is here you see this has got like a D shape to it whereas the hole for the original bracket is all round and that's to prevent it from slipping side to side like it was doing in the in my previous review I just couldn't get it tight enough to keep it from from flexing side to side and, and that's detrimental when, when guiding so that's a big upgrade from the previous model you have the D shape in the uh, the bolt that goes through the adapter on both but with the, the new version you can see that the, the actual notch for it in the plate and the bracket itself is has got a flat side to it and that's what's going to keep it from slipping around if you don't truly understand what I mean about that, go back and watch the other video and you'll see how that's that's a major improvement from the previous model. The construction of this thing is, is really nice. It's really high grade aluminum. Nothing plastic or, or junky about it. It's It's got a quality build to it. really happy with the design I actually like the logo that's pretty cool too you can see with the QHY unlike the Orion I can actually adjust it with it on the camera itself I can use the Allen key here and, and tighten it with the uh, Orion guide scope when it's inserted it's it's got that tab on the bottom right there that you see and that kind of covers where the uh the set screw is so if i was going to change something about this bracket i would put the uh the allen key on the opposite side and also the flat side of the the d-shaped notch in the um the bracket itself that way if somebody was using like a guide scope or a finder scope with this bottom stop on it that you could actually still adjust it with it on the camera so that's a recommendation I could give as far as the product design but overall this this version 4 has is, is really impressed me it's um, just some minor changes but a, a huge step in the right direction for for using this for guiding and as I said you have a little bit of flexure up and down and that's because of the thin wall of your hot shoe itself on the camera it's uh, it's a little difficult to to tighten it down when it, when it's in place because I have fairly big fingers so if there was something inside of the the outside of it that you could use the Allen key to kind of torque it a little bit more right there on the on the threads on the uh on that part that would be really cool. You see how wide my fingers are it's hard for me to reach in there but you don't have to torque it down too tight. Um this one is is really stable and I don't think you're going to get a lot of flexure out of it and especially at camera lens uh, focal lengths should be fine with this 
It's a really cool product and an answer to uh, you guys who, who don't want to invest in telescopes or maybe you already have telescopes and you have some nice camera lenses too and you want a way to include a guide scope for, for longer exposures then this is a really good product and I, I recommend it. Again, that flexure there, I have to torque on it to, to push it like that. So it's not going to do that on its own. I'm just showing that there is flexure there. I really like it with this QHY Mini. There's uh, some other low profile, small guide scopes on the market from different various companies that, that will work with this. So overall, it's a really great product. I'm glad I got the opportunity to review it. Uh, thanks to Sean for sending me the new version of it for review. And um, I really appreciate the correspondence, you reaching out. I think you got a great idea here and um, thanks to my viewers for watching. Hope you guys are staying safe with all that's going on and I wish you many clear skies. Thanks for watching.